Welcome back, you guys. This is Tessindra. Continuing my Hoi 4 campaign as the United Kingdom. And I've been spending some time looking over the, um, the focus tree. And initially I was leaning towards going towards this. Even though it does raise my communism thing here. I wanted to try this out. But um, mainly because I didn't want to defend all of my stuff all over the world. But... Um, when I looked at this part over here, Reinforce the Empire, like, this stuff over here looked really, really boring, like, getting my allies and my, uh, colonies, like, factories, it seemed very, very boring, until I realized this one down here, Imperial Federation, we essentially annex all of the Dominion, so Dominion of Canada, the United Kingdom annexes Dominion of Canada, we annex South Africa. So, if we go through all of this, we will essentially annex everybody. Let's see, it's Canada, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, British Malaysia. They will all become ours. So, I, and to do that, I have to go down this route over here. That seems amazing. All of that stuff will be mine. Uh, but we will be renamed into um, the Commonwealth of Nations, which is fine. So we'll no longer be the United Kingdom, we'll be known as the Commonwealth. Which is, um, you know, it's very, very interesting. The fact that we get all of these countries, like, if I just take a look at Canada right now, let's see. 5 and 11. It's not that many factories, but if we add all of these nations up, we've got some civilian factories as well. I think the British Raj, I don't know exactly what happens to them. They don't join us, do they? No. But Australia and the British Raj do. Uh, the British um, Malaysia. And collectively, we're talking like, I don't know, 30 to 50 factories? And plus all the resources there. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. So he has started the purging. He's done with the purging. Really? Okay. So he went straight for the purges. We have no idea if uh, Russia is going to go to war with Germany. We have a historical, like, um, a historical focuses. So we have no idea what people are going to go for. These guys are just supporting the status quo. Let, what is Poland up to? Yeah, nothing that important. It is rather early. Let's put it on speed 5 and sort of see where we stand. I'm going to um, get you guys a field marshal. German Reich dominates Dutch trade negotiations. negotiations. The Germans have expanded their influence over the Netherlands to the point where the Dutch government has felt forced to favor them in the current trade negotiations. That's probably not great. So these guys are exactly the sta same in attack and defense, but the only difference is um, skill. So <laughs> planning speed and supply consumption. I don't think supply consumption is going to be an issue when we're defending the, like, the homeland here, so we'll just put this. Uh, you're d using my main force here. You seem to be the most balanced. 4-4. Four, 5-2. Four. Yeah, 4-4. Four, four. Congratulations. You are my Cav-ish dude. I don't know. It's mostly just offense that I need you for. Let's just put you with this guy. He's got no traits, so he can like grow into whatever we need him to do. Mechanical computing, thank you. And the music died, apparently. This is all fine. We're going to go for a bunch of oil. <sighs> Let's get this. Okay. So we're lacking severely like two years. Uh, one year and, and change of guns. But the production is... it's already capped. Yeah. We might need some more... yeah, military factories. We need more guns. I think this is fine. This supports our carriers, but I would like a better plane. Th this interwar fighter is just completely garbage. So, if we get the opportunity to research that, I think we'll just go for it. Once you're done... We can't continue until next year, but that's fine. So, we get four military factories when we go to war. Is that every single time or just once? I'm not entirely sure. Industrial effort. 
Uh, that's very, very interesting. I would like to get this as soon as possible. Before I start doing anything else. So, we need to be fascist for this to work. So, this one, this path over there is basically stopped. And... Somebody pointed out to me that I did not have to go for the king's party to get a focus on Russia. But it's over here. Requires one of the following. Oh, I can get it from here. Really? So if I get this, I get an annex war goal against the British Raj. And then I can go from that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I should pick a focus though. Um, reinforce the Empire. Just gives me stability. My stability is high enough that this isn't really that required right now. We should focus on industry. I'm gonna get down to here and then we can call it quits. We might go for the research slot, but this early on, it's not that important. Like 1939 was where you want more. I started out with four research slots, so the fifth one is not as valuable, but I don't know. It's 70 days. There's a lot of things I want to get done. Spanish Civil War, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Except watch. And this one dude is not going to be enough to defend Gibraltar if Spain goes against us. So we're going to lose our entryway into, um, into the Mediterranean. Synthetic oil refinery has now been unlocked for us. Okay. Guess we'll just go for this for now. And then we'll go for some... Ref Refineries. Let's just build them all in like 80 plus provinces where the infrastructure can support a boost. I think five is good enough for now. Yeah, this looks fine. Finish off our civilian factories and then we go for this. Uh, I want to get into um, partial, but we can't. I need more war support. But it is actually going up. Yeah, war support is rising. So if we can get this up to 25%, we can get partial. Which is gonna be beautiful. Um, I think we finished off all of our ships, right? Yeah, so... This is what was finished. Uh, I think I'll just leave these guys there. I'm gonna add them to a task force later. It's just all the new ships are going to get built here. And then once we need them, we can throw them somewhere. So, this is cheaper because of you, I imagine? Yeah, you're 135. Uh, let's see here. I did run over these guys, didn't I? I don't want any of this. This guy could be interesting. But I'd rather get this when I can. Dispersed is done. It is November. We could start this slightly ahead of time, and I think I will. It's only... it's barely, barely a penalty there. Okay, so... Industrial effort is done. Give me the six military factories here. Little Entente. So they're gonna merge with, what, Czechoslovakia? And, uh... Yeah! So they might get Yugoslavia and Romania and Polish guarantee as well. Well, that makes you weaker, France. You know that, right? But then again, when Germany demands the Sudetenland, if they have the French support, they will go to war. So if Germany demands the Sudetenland, which is uh, this one? Yeah. Once they get this, I think we might see World War II start really, really early. And if they get Poland to, like, a Polish guarantee, that would be amazing. The biggest issue we have is going to be Germany, I think. Even though we are fascist, I don't want to join them. I don't want to join Germany. Select where to arrange your black shirt marches. Okay, so urge restraint. Change in popularity of fascism goes down. Greatly reduces the chances of a violent march on the next black shirt 
black shirt march held. Should stability drop below 50% during the black shirt marches, a civil war will start. Well, our stability is at 50, uh, 90%. So once we have 50% support, we could just march on Downing Street. Okay, so let me take a look down here. Uh, I don't think we need any of this. Police action. No. We could grow rubber in Nigeria. Do we need that? We could give refuge and get a permanent boost to research. I do like this, because we're going to lose out on this later. We are on veteran difficulty, so there is a penalty there by 15% to our research. But we're so close to 25%, I think I might do one of these. If I just give... Um, let's just do German scientist. And then we'll wait. We took a penalty to our stability here. But let's save the political power. Yeah. So we get a, a nice boost to our research speed. Yeah, positive 2%. And we have two research slots. We might as well just start the industry then. And we got a nice boost to it as well. There we go. Beautiful. We haven't started the... Um, Synthetic refineries yet, but they're coming. They're coming. Is there an like an infrastructure boost as well somewhere here? Or do I just have to build that myself? I think I might have to build that myself. Uh, I need 10% world tension. British austerity. Consumer goods factories minus 5%. That is pretty good. So we got special air service. And then that doesn't lead to anything. We got naval and air rearmament. I'm not that focused on that right now. So, we're almost at 25%. I'm just waiting to click this. Come on, give me that 25%. Royal Ordnance Factories, thank you very much. So, we got our six military factories. I'm leaning towards going for this, even though I technically don't really need it. But I think I'm going to start with the Reinforce the Empire. Yeah, let's just get it started. Okay, so we have 10 factories working on guns, and we got two left over. I'm just going to put them here for now. That's good enough. There we go. 165 days. And then we can start stockpiling them. And this can rise another 11%. The veteran difficulty does hamper that quite a lot, actually. Okay. So this is all getting built. Um, fuel gain from refineries. So, let's see here. Rubber, we are producing some, but it's all like in... It's mostly from Ceylon, which is off the coast of the British Raj. So, I think I will lean towards getting the oil from the refineries. <sighs> I don't know. It's gonna be an issue later on. I kinda don't wanna do this without the boost, by boosting it up. What I could do is start drilling. What do you guys have? You got shovels and support artillery. But that's that's fine though. If I just tell you to train a drill, and you guys can just chill, because I'm not making any tanks. We're not going to make any tanks. This is my tank division. This is my tank division. You gotta be kidding me. You know what? Fuck you guys. Get away from me. So my guns got a bit closer. So we got 180 light tanks in reserves. Which is fine. We might swap at some point. But I might just want to fill up this squad over here. If I do this, you need eight dudes. Let's just have you merge up with this dude. Yeah. Polish-Romanian alliance. Uh, you didn't actually get an alliance. But your friends? You got a guarantee at least. Okay. Good enough, I suppose. 
Uh, let's get this one as well. We have to rely on refineries. It's so much more valuable in uh, this Man the Guns expansion than it was before. Because they changed the way, like, oil works with fuel and shit. So it's it's very, very valuable. I think I'll go for this as well. Yeah, we'll just go full-on oil and rubber. You can go for excavation. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we might need that extra research slot. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards that, definitely. And we can go for partial mobilization. And then I think I'll try to give refuge to the Italian scientists. Just get them on board, get that 5% research speed early. And yes, and also get the um the extra points here. I can march in Northern Ireland. Oh, I can do a bunch of marches to boost up my popularity here. I probably should start doing that. I'm not getting a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of fascism boost up, am I? No, it's not going up at all. So we have to do marches for that. Really? Alright, but I do want the Italian scientists, though. Okay, so... Where is that? So, urge restraints. Select where to arrange Black March. Yeah, we could just do that. So, let's see here. We get 25% chance. Peaceful March. Okay, change in course uh, is gone. Change in popularity. Okay, so there's... Um, there's a 25% that we get a... Um, a violent march, which could end pretty badly for us. This is changing popularity of fascism by 22%. The Mexican Civil War? And I can do urge restraint, so it reduces the chances of a violent march. So if I do this, and then I just march on London, we can get 22% boost without getting the negative there. You see the stability loss as well, it's massive. So if we ever drop below 50% stability, we're going to have a civil war. I'd rather not. I would rather not do that. Let's do a march in um, Northern Ireland. and see what happens. Peaceful march. Thank you. So our stability goes down. We get some political power, which is good. And yeah. We just have to watch our stability. So we've already done this, so we can't march more. Okay, we'll go up here. This one is really, really cheap. The Highlands. Uh, we just got a regular march then. Okay. Let's see. How, are, how popular are we? 10%. Okay, so we need to do a bunch of these. Uh, we'll do Cornwall over here. Peaceful March. 80% stability. Yeah, this is dropping quickly. So you're done. We're basically done with all of this right now. Well, they're still ongoing, but it's effectively done. Uh, I kind of want my plane. Better planes. Get rid of those interwar garbage. You guys are drilling quite nicely. Do I need to fix this division? I do need to fix this division. It is rather trash. If I do recon and then I add another dude. So you're 20 wide. Yeah, that's perfect. You don't have the guns for it, but it's fine. So we got the extra resource slot. And I don't need any of this. This would be nice, but it's 70 days. It's definitely not nice. Navy and air experience. And hot acclimation gain factor. Interesting. I need current ruling party to be fascist. Okay, okay. Let's just go for service overseas. And let's continue some marches here. Um, hold anti-German speech. As Mosley's popularity soars, so does the outlandish criticism he is bombarded with. To Aswich? Aswich? Aswaj. I don't know how to pronounce that. 
to appease fears or to counter fears, I think, maybe? That he merely wishes to force Hitlerism upon the British people, perhaps a grand and powerful formulated speech is required, in which Mosley distances himself in unmistaken terms from the Hitler's variety of fascism. Okay. Weakly stability. For 60 days, it says, down at the bottom, weakly stability plus 2%. So 60 days is, um, it's not 10 weeks, it's like 9-ish weeks. So that's what, 18% stability? I think I'll just, yeah, definitely do this. So, Mosley speeches against Germany. So Germany doesn't like us. We don't give a fuck. Challenging accusations that he is simply Adolf Hitler's lapdog, Oswald Mosley made a rousing speech today. In it, he asserted the uniqueness and individuality of British fascism and stressed the distinction between his policies and those of the German dictator. He went on to conclude with powerful words, No one but a Briton shall hold sway over Britain. Okay. Stanley Baldwin resigns. Two weeks after the coronation of King George VI, Mr. Baldwin has announced that he will resign the premiership in order to retire at the age of 70, having led the national governments on and off since 1923. He has been the steady hand responsible for bringing the British Empire out of the Great Depression, and in recent years has reluctantly overseen the beginning of imperial rearmament and the abdication of King Edward VIII. He steps down as a popular and successful prime minister, but has he done enough to counter the growing threat from Germany. Okay. So war support goes down, but output goes up. I'm fine with that. We got more factories right now. Put it over here. There we go. And yeah, uh, I can't do the air, the the carrier variant of this until I finish the basic model. So that's not gonna work. Um, we could do this, but I'm not producing any motorized right now. Oh, yeah, Marines. Wait, I should have a boost for Marines. I don't want to mess this up like I did last time. It just says Marine Technology, not Marine 1, 2, or 3. Just one boost for Marines. So it could be 2 or 3, but let's just get the basic ones here. I want Marines. We're going to do a not, uh, yeah. We're going to do a lot of naval invasions, I imagine. So, let's see. Uh, where's a cheap march? We can do this one. Our stability is still quite high. A peaceful march, thank you. How are we doing? Uh, we're up to 15%. We need to get to 50? Okay, let's do um, East Anglia. March in East Anglia. Okay. What is this? Demobilization. Why? Well, wait, pause, pause, pause. With the threats of war seeming distant, people are no longer willing to accept the hardship of wartime laws. We need to review our laws and consider changing them to quiet the protesters before the situation escalates. Effects if not completed within 103 days. We get strikes. Has economy law partial mobilization? Oh, is this... Wait, what? Is this because I went to... Oh, I have less than 25% war support. Okay, so you messed this up, you asshole. I don't want to go too early. No, 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 no. Uh, war propaganda is... I need more tension in the world. How do I get more war support? No... Did I mess this up? How do I get more war support? I kind of want to ditch... Is this guy? Yeah. A peaser. What a dick. He's messing up my war support. So I've got a hundred and something days to get my war support up before something bad happens. I think. I have to spend 50 political power to go down. Too early. I don't like that. Uh, 
So war propaganda is the only thing I can go for, but the world tension is not high enough. So we would need, like, Japan to declare war on China. They're not doing the, uh, the what's it called? The bridge incident? Marco Polo bridge incident? No, they're not doing that. Germany is not doing anything crazy. The only thing that's happening is the Spanish Civil War. When that is over, I think the world tension should go up slightly. But not a lot. And I have a research I haven't picked. Um, so I'm getting Marines. This is ahead of time. Hmm. We could unlock this, but it seems useless right now. I think I'll take the anti-tank just to get more options. Uh, how do I ditch this dude? There's no way to do that, is there? What is an easy way to get more war support? You're not giving me... You're just giving me army experience. Uh, okay. Promises of peace hurts my war support even more. This is more stability. Anti-fascist raid. Ban fascism, ban communism. No. Nothing here helps boost up war support except for uh, war propaganda, which I can't do. And it's 150 political power. Oh man, this sucks. People are going to go on strike if I don't sort this out. I spent 150 political power doing this. And you're going to mess me up? Really? Okay, uh, how long do I have? I got less than 70 days. So is there a focus I can do quickly for some more? I don't think there is. The world tension is just not high enough. Uh, Mediterranean Bastion. War with Italy. I don't think we want to do a war with Italy. I th or unless they don't join with the Germans. Coerce Spain. Hmm. Daily democracy support. We could actually get rid of Spain. How about that? If we could get rid of them, that would be amazing. But that's very, very long term. And right now I need to fix some other stuff. Uh, let's just encourage colonial elites and get more research speed. I do like that. But there's nothing here that can boost up my war support that I can see. Am I re I don't want to get the strikes. Activates mission. Demobilize our economy. So this happens regardless. But added on top of it, I get strikes. For how long? Uh, I don't want to get strikes. It's going to hurt my my build-up quite a lot here. Okay, let's see here. This is a depth charger. Active sonar. Um, damage control. What do I want to research right now? Submarines. This is fleet and being. I was hoping we we're going to go for carriers. That's fine. Let's just get the hospital. I mean, we're going to use it at some point. Ah, uh, do I do this? Really? Early mobilization. Man! Fine. I don't like it. I really don't like it. So that's a waste. That's like 200 political power just down the drain. Because of this douchebag. Somebody died or retired? No, he retired and this guy took over. And he's basically garbage. So our uh, factories, uh, my synthetic refineries are getting built. Let's go for 70%. I'm going to build like one everywhere. And then once that is done, I think I'll just boost up uh, provinces that have, like, this one has 49 steel. 56 steel. Yeah, we'll start with those two. Just get them up to 10. Give us more um, resources. I don't like losing that political power. I already have to dump a lot of it to boost up this. Develop tungsten? No. That's not worth it. We don't need tungsten right now. Let's march in Lothian. 
Uh, let's see here. Peaceful March. Thank you. And what do we get? We're up to 21%. Eventually, we're going to have to march on uh, London. But um, it's so much political power we're dumping into this. And that I've already wasted. Which is unfortunate. Maybe there's there was a dude here. Silent Workhorse. Maybe we need this guy. And he's actually more expensive now. The uh, the, the discount to uh, advisors was the previous dude. The guy that retired. If I had known that, I would have hired one of these dudes before. If I had known how much political power I was going to need, I would have hired this dude. Uh, maybe even this guy as well. They both give political power gain. But this one is only 5%. This one is 15%. Ah, uh, well. Well, well, well. Italy is about to go to war with Yugoslavia. Ah, uh, they're going to demand Albania first. So. We can do Commonwealth ties. So if we develop all of this... Uh, it's a lot of political power, and we could get a lot of factories. Do we just do it? Do we just go for it right away? I mean, the the fascism stuff isn't even close to happening. I think, oh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's just try to merge the Commonwealth. We build a bunch of factories in the countries we're going to take over anyway. Unlock Imperial Conference decisions for 60 days. Ensure you have... Political power saved up to make use of these. Without autonomy, the British Raj will not accept any proposals for imperial federalization. Without autonomy. How do I give... Ah, uh, Indian autonomy. So I have to do this in order to get the British Raj as well. Okay. Then we might as well start that. Uh, this is going to take a while. They're all 70 days. I'm going to be spending the whole like campaign doing this. i pause again. Uh, I do think we might need this, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, ships we definitely don't need. I could, though, get the heavy ship. We do have fleet and beam. Fuel refining is done. I do need this one. This is really, really good. You built this, apparently, on scouting ships. The airplane catapult is it increases like the t detection range of ships by ridiculous amounts. So you have patrol ships, and then you have strike forces standing by. So once the patrol ships find something, the strike forces launch, and they do their thing. But you need these dudes here to find them. Apparently, they're really, really good at that. Let's do this. Upgrade this. Please don't make the annoying sound. I hate you. I hate you so much. So, we could keep marching. We could do uh, Gloucestershire. Get away from me. What do we get? March in Gloucestershire, okay. Stability is still good. We could do a few more. Uh, it is almost 1938. Let's just start the computing machine. Uh, we can do Northern England. Uh, let's see here. F ooh, Violent March. That's not good. My stability plummeted from that. Okay, that's not good. Maybe we should stop with the marches for a bit now. Let's see. We're up to 30%. We're doing quite well. Can we do anything else with uh, the black shirts? No. And there's the war between China and Japan. World tension is going to skyrocket. Beautiful. So war support is now at 25%. <laughs> and you're not going to give me uh, like partial, are you? For free. No. That's 200 points that I'm not going to get back. Damn you, game. Damn you. That was annoying. That was really, really annoying. Do we get a lot of political points for doing these things? We get nothing for this. We get nothing for this. Uh, nope. Really? 
We get 120 from here. I can't even see all of this. No political points for this either. But yeah, we'll get these dudes. We'll get uh, India to be autonomous. And then we'll just annex. Because if we can get the British Raj as well. We actually have a way of like doing stuff in Asia then. And they've got a lot of civilian factories. So this was the airplane catapult. I'm going to get the active sonar as well. Thank you. So we don't have a lot of cheap marches left. We got a 47 here in uh, East Midlands. Sogs and Mitz, so Albania is now part of Italy. There we go. Commonwealth ties. Develop the Raj. Daily, wait, does it have to finish? Rather than promise full independence, it is possible we may be able to weaken the Indian independence movement by giving them far-reaching autonomy, much like the other dominions already enjoy. So they get daily autonomy progress gain for 730 days. So that's that's two years. I think, does that mean that you have to have it? Without autonomy, the British Raj will not accept any proposals. So I, does, does that mean you have to finish those 730 days before I can do this and get the Raj as well? Yeah, I'm, gu yeah, I'm guessing so. So let's just start with the Raj then. Damn it. I'm going to do a whole bunch of focuses that don't help me at all. Not until, like, much, much later. Um. So if I do another violent march, I think we're going to drop below 50%. And we're going to have a civil war. We can't really allow that to happen. Like, yeah, here we can't. So I'm going to have to do urge restraint and then do a march. So that's going to be even more political power. You bastards. Okay, good, good, good. Let's upgrade you. Please don't make the annoying sound. I hate you. Why do you do this to me? Uh, it is 1938, so we can do a lot of new things. We're teching up really, really nice. Uh, we've got all the guns we need, plus we've got some storage right now. You guys are still drilling. Uh, I might as well just push you guys out. So we've got 24 dudes here. Uh, that's not a huge army. And then we got a bunch of weaklings here. Okay, the Spanish Civil War is over. You guys are 12 wide. Ooh, Benito Mussolini today announced that Italy would no longer consider herself bound by the naval treaties she had signed. The world situation, he said, had made the choice inevitable. Italy has apparently... Received reliable reports that several neighboring countries have begun aggressive naval expansion programs that threaten legitimate Italian interest in the area. The Italian Admiralty has refused to comment on rumors that several ships currently under construction were already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. I'm going to reduce you guys to 10 wide and I'm going to give you shovels. Shovels? There we go. We got the shovels, okay. So you're going to be 10 wide. All of the garrison troops are going to be 10 wide with shovels, which makes them... A lot more defensible. I could make you 20 wide, but I kind of need the troops for other things. So Hungary is doing stuff. Okay. Anschluss of Austria is happening. You guys have joined together. The new Soviet man. Heavy ship hull. Nice. Okay. This is the super heavy battleship. I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do a super heavy battleship. Like, I want to swap one of these ships and make a, a super heavy one. Uh, this one is not legal. It's over 10,000. It's over 10... No, not, let's not do that. So, um... Was this guy here? Yeah. So if I tweak it a bit, it is barely over. It needs to be below 10,000. So, secondary batteries. This is the fire control system. Nah, it's not enough. Engine is heavy engine 2. What could I possibly drop here? This reduces the speed of the ship. 
Yeah. So anti-air, I don't think I think we can drop the anti-air, to be honest with you. We have so many screening ships, I think we can let them handle it. So if I remove this, it's still not enough. Really? Really? Secondary battery one is not enough. I have to remove it. So this battleship has two cannons in the front. And he's got some armor and he's got some engine. Really? This is it? Alright, fine. I do want to make one of these. So it's going to be October 9th, 1939. Okay. And I think I will make two of these. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful! How many destroyers do I have? Way too many. So, finish this ship. And then let's do more cruisers. No, 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 that's the wrong one. This one. Yeah. Finish this last destroyer and then focus on just uh, cruisers. Because, let's see here, we've got 39 cruisers and 155 destroyers. Okay. Five carriers. I don't think we're going to make more, but we might. And three battle cruisers and 12 battleships. Develop the Raj is done. Let's give them autonomy. And I'm going to do depth charge throwers as well. Because I think somebody is going to be... Sending a lot of submarines at us, hint hint, maybe the Germans. And I need to make sure that we can handle them, because I think the only navies that are, like, can potentially hurt us are the US ones and the Japanese ones. I don't think the others have a fleet that can even touch us right now. The Germans don't have anything. No, France maybe has a bit of a fleet, but no, we can dominate France easily. It is mainly the US or, the J or Japan. Because they both are, like, carrier-heavy. We are mostly just capital ship-heavy. And, and, you know, carriers are better than, than battleships. But, like, if you can dominate with enough anti-air guns, you can easily beat carriers. Uh, do we stop drilling you? Yeah, we might as well. Let's not stop wasting guns. Um, this is still rising. Yeah, with, with the world tension going up, this is going to keep rising. The Anschluss of Austria and world tension jumped to 45. And looks like World War II is going to start. So Czechoslovakia is with France and this means war, basically. If I guarantee your independence, can I do that? No, I cannot. So let's see here. Let's urge restraint. And let's also... Hmm. Can I not boost stability? I can. Output is affected. Really, I don't like that. So if we do... There's a 6% chance that we're fucked. Now we can't do that. We can't really do that. Let's do another anti-German speech then, so that our stability will keep rising. We can't afford we can't afford to have a violent march. If we drop below fifty percent stability, we're gonna have a civil war, and I don't want that. It's it's just messy, and it's gonna take time. So if I want to do something big like this, we're gonna need to have like seventy percent stability just in case we get the violent march. Which kind of sucks. But I do like having all of this research. Like, we're plowing through our research right now. Even with the penalty. Give me decryption. Beautiful. Demand reduced trade with Germany. No, 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 no. So Indian autonomy. And uh, let's start developing our friends here. Let's just develop... Um, does it matter who I do first? No. Doesn't matter. We're developing the Commonwealth, and that's that. 
So this is the backup fleet I've been making. 28 destroyers. We'll merge them up with somebody at some point. And we're about to get... Civil War. Dissolve Bulgaria. Dissolve. Gains Annex War Goal against Bulgaria. Really? Am I crazy? But Bulgaria is down here. Super heavy battleship hull. Well, I'm going to need to ditch the treaty for that, for me to be able to use that ship. But it is interesting. 1938. No, 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 no. We can't get anything out of any either one of these. So, let's just do a battle plan. Even though we don't have the boost. We need to start doing doctrines. We're going to have a war at some point, And I need to be... I need to catch up. So we're up to 70% here. We're going to get a bit more stability out of this. But I think we can do a big march. So this is 25% if I fail it. Let's do this one here. It's 15% negative stability if I fail it. If I get a violent march. Japan abandons the Naval Treaty. Hirohito today announced that Japan would no longer consider herself bound by the Naval Treaties she had signed. The world situation, it's basically word for word, the same thing Italy had. Alright, fine. March in Wales, uh, it's minus 10%. Okay, so that was not that successful, but it's fine. So if I do this and it goes violent, it's negative 15%. Which might succeed, but it might put us below 50, so let's not risk it. Um, we can't do anything else here. I might as well just do some random ones. Germany declares war on Czechoslovakia, meaning they are at war. Ooh. With the outbreak of war, the British government has unofficially, no, has officially informed the remaining signatories of the London Naval Treaty that, under Article 24, it considers the restrictions of the Naval Treaty to be, the to be no longer in the national interest. The British ambassador has therefore announced that the naval treaty will be suspended for the duration of the war. Whether the restrictions will be returned will return into force after the war is over remains to be seen. But for the time being, we should consider ourselves no longer bound by the treaty obligations when it comes to designing and building ships. Great. So I just started a ship that is going to be kind of shit. Damn. So there's no restriction anymore. Fuck. Well, we can fix that at some point. But let's go ahead and pause it here, shall we? Uh, we're sort of developing our fascism right now. We're up to 34 point something percent fascist. And we're developing basically the Commonwealth. Hoping to become the Commonwealth of what? The Commonwealth of Nations. Which should be interesting. Uh, the Dominion of India is becoming more autonomous. And eventually they will become our bitch. This will be over in the 24th of May, 1940. I don't know if this needs to finish for us to get them. But um, I don't see uh, the British Raj in this list yet. This is United Kingdom, Australia, Dominion of Canada and three others. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out later. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.